What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Bob Arum. Bob Arum states that he would back Tyson Fury versus Mike Tyson for a charity event. They asked Bob Arum, they said, is the world ready for Tyson versus Tyson? Bob Arum said, only in a, an exhibition bout for charity with headgear, big gloves, and small expectations. Hmm, okay. Well, we'll do this, okay? We, um, <clears throat> we've heard Bob Arum, and to really retort, he said I would entertain it, the idea of Tyson Fury versus uh, uh, Ty uh, Mike Tyson, uh, in an exhibition fight for charity, okay? I wouldn't, I wouldn't finance it. I would put sweat equity into it. I think it would be good for Tyson, okay? I don't know which Tyson that he was referring to. I'm, I'm thinking he's talking about Tyson Fury since he's just said Tyson, you know? <clears throat> now, the thing is, something like charity, you know, with headgear, I think that's probably the safest bet. But I didn't like the idea of him, oh, I would put equity into it, I wouldn't finance it. Well, you know, that might be a fight or a, an event, let's put it that way, because if you have headgear and things of that nature, you would have what you have. But you have two athletes in the ring. You have 153 and the other one 31. You have Mike Tyson versus Tyson Fury. And these guys with headgear it should be something that should be entertaining to say the least, but it would be for exactly that. You know, again, I would do, I would follow the rules of, uh, or the instructions of, um, Shannon Briggs, right? Because Shannon Briggs was the main one that said, yeah, you know, I would like to get in there, but not bare knuckle. Right. But then you're in there with Mike. Mike might have one of those, those, zoning out moments he might just get into zone zone out or zone in and forget for a minute like look that is the guy his father named him after me this is just another opponent i'm going to go in and try my best to kill him that could be the case now i like the idea of headgear but the strange ironic thing about headgear is Headgear has been researched to do more damage than good, right? Because it's um, the protective layer of cushion around the head, right? It's about that thick, okay? It's about that thick. But it gives you a target to be punched in. So a lot of people don't think it's really a good idea to be hit because you're still taking a, an, a, um, an absorbed punch. It's just that you're getting hit by the pad, the cushion, more than the glove. The glove is hitting the cushion, and the cushion is hitting your face. So you're still hitting it. I know when I spar, you know, you still have the soreness around here, especially when someone's catching you with check hooks, you know, or, or those type of punches or, or wider shots that come around your guard. You're going to feel that in the morning. You're going to feel it right here, you know, especially in that area because that's closer to your temple temple area and your temple area is actually right here okay so you know i call that the anthony joshua shots the anthony joshua kryptonite shots right because it's this area where you could be these are pressure points you know and then that's the soreness so it's been researched that they're not really all that protective they just give you give the fighter a target something to hit you know and a lot of times in the amateurs you know, you're hitting the, that particular mark, and a lot of time that indicates that that's a, a clean hit from that, you know, from tapping that particular part of your glove, you know what I mean? Of course your face, but, you know, up here, and especially, you know, when you're working on your, your jab, you know, especially if you're uh, taller than your opponent, like Tyson Fury is to Mike Tyson by a huge amount, right? So, um, Mike Tyson can do whatever Mike wants to do. Headgear, you know, uh, would I watch it? Sure, I would watch it, you know what I mean? But then you have to always understand again, it's a gamble dealing with Mike Tyson because Mike Tyson has been training. I've heard Mike say this out of his mouth 
four or five years ago that he doesn't like to train like that. It brings another animal out of him. That's why he doesn't like to do it. He said he'll do calisthenics or something like that. But when he does get to the nitty gritty of the things that he's doing right now, he said it himself. He doesn't like to do them because it brings him in a new zone and another spirit comes over and maybe it's that warrior spirit that he was referring to that says that he needs the warrior gods he said that he needs to come back and they're telling him to come back and to embrace the sport of boxing that's why he's training hard as he's he's trained in a very very long time so with ex with, with um being an exhibition being charity four rounder you know that could be some kind of you know, high, you don't expect high expectations. No, Bob, you should expect anything. And I think it would sell regardless of what it really does. You know what I mean? So I think for the record, um, if this was actually going to happen, um, but that's if Tyson Fury would rather do it. I'm not sure if this is just Bob speaking, not Tyson Fury. And I'm not even really sure that Tyson Fury would even, you know, be up for this. So again, this is just speculation. You guys tell me what you think about Bob Arum's comments. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys have been counterpunched. Peace.